good fish right there. I think it's the trout is biting down. Where are you at? Oh, Woo. Nice. that is a nice ice striper right there. All right, you guys. So we are fishing the windward side of the Pamlico Sound on the Noose River here, and Christy just whipped made out happen. a nice size striper. Caught him on the Z-Man. That's what's up, Paddledale. Are you ready? <laughs> I don't know. Can anyone be ready when they're woken up at 3 30 in the morning? <laughs> I think not. Oh, oh, that's a good fish. That's, that's a drum. <laughs> That's a good fish, babe. Nice. Woo! That's a striper. It's a drum? Woo! <laughs> nice! Hey guys, we are out here in the Noose River, and this is my first Noose River drum right here. A nice little 19 inch uh, drum this morning and uh, caught him on the Z-Man. It's been a good morning so far. We've only been out here for like 30 minutes and tons of action, tons of bites, a lot of strikes already. Uh, just pulled this little guy out. So hopefully where we, we pulled him out that there's a lot more action to be had. This is like one of my favorite species to catch. They're just beautiful fish. Um, They're also really fun fighting, whether it's a puppy drum or bull drum. Um, just really awesome give you a lot of action on the end of your line and a really good fight so check out his coloring his scales he's a pretty good size and check out that nice spot on his tail awesome <laughs> yeah my first drum of the year i love my drum whoa what is that That's a fish. That is a good fish right there too. Can you grab the net? I think it's another drum. It's running right to the boat. Oh, it's a flounder. Nice. <laughs> second, second catch of the day. All right, you guys, second species of the morning. Just caught this keeper flounder right here. Not a bad size. He is gonna be really tasty for dinner if we keep him, but I think we might let him go. What do you think, Jeff? We're gonna let him go. All right, we're gonna give him life. We're gonna give him back, but just check it out. Not a bad size already. By the way, that is Christie's <laughs> uh, second species in three casts. <laughs> one keeper striper, one cast, and then this keeper flounder. Yep, I'm getting that's, on him this morning. It's <laughs> pretty sweet right there. <laughs> Woo! Nice job. Thank really you very nice. much. Who's sailing? Keep going. What? Fish. Whoa, that is a good fish right there. Woo! Oh, she's on. She is hooked. It's definitely a good sized drum right there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. There she comes. Coming right to the boat. Later, right to you. The trout? We'll get her. Woo! Nice slotted drum right there. Second drum of the day. All right, check out. Beautiful fish, number two of the day. Well, actually, it's number three of the day, but this is my second nice size slotted drum and really healthy looking fish. You can see all the red in her scales two and two spots. One fish, two fish. That's right, right there. <laughs> this side, she's got one little pretty spot, but check out those spots right there. Awesome. Look at all that red in her tail. All right, everybody, time to get on some more fish. So I'm gonna release this beautiful fish right here and give her life. So let's give her back to the water. 
It's always good just to take a minute to revive these guys, but. Dang, he's ready to go. Yep. Or she. Come on, little girl. And she's gone. <laughs> No, because then you would be really scared. That's a drum. Oh yeah. That's a drum. Ooh man. He's big. Dang, can you get the net? Dang. Slot. Nice. On the popping cork with the pro white swimming roller for the win. Nice job, babe. Come on in here. Sweet. Nicely done, babe. All right, you guys. Jeff has gotten a skunk out of the boat for himself. Check it out. You guys have no idea how hard that I have fought and wanted this Noose River redfish. This is Probably a awesome. whole hour. <laughs> Man, I don't care how big these fish are. This is absolutely beautiful. Man, <sighs> that is awesome. And these guys just fight so hard. Oh, that's so awesome. He's right in the slot range. Look at that tail. Oh man, that is awesome. You're doing fish surgery. Captain's vlog, day one. So far the news River has not disappointed and it's been an incredible morning in this fishery. We've gotten on almost every species except for a decent sized trout. So anyway, you guys should definitely come for a weekend. Drum. Another one? I think so. Or a flounder. Feels like a flounder. Can you get the net, please? That's definitely a flounder. Ready? Yeah, the drum. Here. Oh, Trout. Trout. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Nice. nice babe. Well, that is sick. Woo, baby. That is huge. Wow. Yes. Jeff is having a little hey celebratory victory party up here on the bow oh, of the boat. This is <laughs> awesome. I caught my first drum, puppy drum of the year on a popping cord. And I thought I had a puppy drum, and I have a sick trout. This is like a PB. Oh man. Oh, this is sick. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Look, he's even drumming. I didn't know they did that. I know they're in the drum family. Oh man, you guys. My hands are already wet, by the way, so I'm handling this fish properly. You guys, look how big that is. That is what the Noose River in North Kakalaki is all about right there. That is awesome. We're gonna measure this dude. And he is 19 nice. inches. Solid 19 inches right there. That is awesome. All right, you guys. Man, that is, that's just awesome. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish all right i want to get a picture on my cell phone and send it to a buddy a few buddies of mine but whew, man look how fat he is okay it's a pretty girthy fish right there healthy looking trout north kakalaki trout 
All right, y'all, so I'm gonna let this beautiful trout go. But actually, Christy, do you know what this means? What? We just got the Noose River Grand Slam. The inshore slam, y'all. Grand Slam. We hit a flounder, slam. flounder, trout, drum, and striper. Nice. That's the Grand we Slam. It. All right, we're gonna let him go. And he's ready. All right, get out of here. That was not even a half a day's work, y'all. Nicely done. Ooh, gross, slimy hands. Mm -hmm. Let me catch a big trout. Big trout. Big trout. Big one. Really? Or something. Oh, good. All right, here he comes, here he comes. Ooh, he didn't like that. Another big trout. Here. Hey, come out. Are you serious? That's bigger than the last are one. You, are you kidding me? That is a freaking huge trout. This is the drum. second trout. Drum, yeah, trout. That's a huge trout. You guys are not about to believe this. What I, what a, what a, here you go. <laughs> I can't even speak. I'm tongue tied. All right, you guys. What? I just caught like my, it's not my PB good. trout, but like pretty much like a 20 inch trout, like five casts ago and now I think I caught a trout that's like it, if not it, bigger definitely the same size he's got more girth and I can still use that this part is not bad okay what it's like the same size trout got to be pushing 18 to 19 inches a little bit more girth wow that's like that's insane. This is the first day of trout season. Christy has caught two good sized drum. I've caught two good sized trout. Christy caught a flounder too. So let's get a measurement. See what this bad boy is. Let's see here. 20 inches. <laughs> Double digit. That's a 20 inch trout back to back. What? That's awesome. You guys need to get up off your butt. Come on down here to the Noose River because this is what happens. Like back to back trout just like this. Crazy. <laughs> like soak this in uh, and kind of let my adrenaline calm down a little bit because like I have been waiting for epic drum and trout and we just had such a long winter in the mid-Atlantic in Virginia and for us Christy and I to get down here to this brand new fishery to us in the Noose River and we've heard so much about it we didn't really know what to expect and we honestly didn't even know where to go we just honestly like picked some grass flats and we just kind of gave it a whirl. But I do want to kind of um, get you guys into my thought process of where we are fishing and why we're fishing and also kind of like what we're fishing with. So while Christy up here is fishing and maybe she'll hook into something while I'm talking. Um, so we have an, a wind that is coming, uh, like it looks like a Northwest wind. Um, so it's actually like the wind is coming like onto the shore and a lot of times when you're out fishing like this big body of water where you can't even see the other end um it's uh you might want to fish like the wind protected side of you know that area or that fishery and you you said you might say to yourself wow it's because it's more calm maybe there's gonna be more fish well if you guys watch our tutorials um something that i talk about is like it might sound complicated but in order to understand where the fish your target species are you have to understand where their bait is but you have to take it a step further and you have to understand where the baits 
bait is, if that makes sense. So right now, you know, like the redfish, they're following the mullet, they're following the pinfish, they're following, um, you know, some of the, uh, you know, just forage that's coming in, but that forage is following phyoplankton and plankton, and that just gets pushed, it, the plankton uh, gets pushed with the wind. And so like in short, what I'm trying to say is sometimes fishing the windward side of the shoreline uh, can really help because uh, we see a lot of birds around here, a lot of diving birds. I even hooked into like a stingray. There's just a lot of life and it's on the windward side of the land of, um, you know, kind of where we're fishing. So uh, also what we're using is we're using popping corks. Um, and it's perfect conditions for popping corks when you have a little bit of this uh, kind of like chop right here on the water. Um, you know, you, you've got the noise of the popping cork that's, you know, almost sounds like either that shrimp, you know, clicking or it could even sound like just, you know, the fish is like, oh, is that like a, you know, school of fish or what's that activity? Um, we're fishing with quarter ounce jig heads and we've got a little bit larger size Berkeley gulp swimming mullet. My, I caught this actually, my tail was chopped off by a tail biter. Um, but that's kind of the pattern that we're fishing today. That's what we're fishing with. And my adrenaline is calmed down a little bit and Christy's fishing and this looks like an amazing spot. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get back fishing. <clears throat>